Along with the button selectors for the page A and page B inputs, we also have one for our bus or outs. We have 14 outputs on the board. Um, some of them are pre-selected for certain things we do, such as the monitors on the stage, or we send sound to our light booth. Um, on this page, you control the main mute and faders for each bus, one through 14. And to do so, you just unmute them and bring them up. Along the top of the board here are the individual selectors for each bus, one through 14. When you select one, the faders will turn to yellow or green, indicating that you are in the controls for that bus. Um, these faders will correspond to all of the inputs on the board in page A and page B, just as the main input sliders with the no color. This is where you're going to control exactly what channels you are sending out of the board into that bus. And to do so, you will simply unmute the channels you're using and move the faders up. As with the um, bus selector to control the main faders, there is also a main fader for each bus on this page as well. And you will have to mute, unmute that and turn that up as well. The main faders here will correspond with the bus faders on the bus page. So you can use one or the other. You do not have to use both. You can send uh, different channels to the individual buses at the same time. So for example, we have two monitor uh, channels that go out of the board down to the stage that we would use in a band setup. And those correspond with bus one and bus two. So for example, if I was running a full band setup and I wanted to send channels one, two, and three out bus one. I would select channels one, two, and three and bring those up. But then if I wanted to send channels four, five, and six to bus two, I would select bus two and bring those channels up instead. Just as with the individual channel inputs, we can have um, individual main volume sets for each buses as well. So for example, on bus two, I have it set to 10. And on bus one, I am gonna set it to negative 15. Now these master faders, as I said before, correspond with the master faders on the bus masters page. So as you can see, bus one is set to negative 15 and bus two is set to 10. All right, in order to change a bus from pre to post fader, it's pretty simple. If you go up here to the main menu page, um, the outputs button will be highlighted when you are in the bus. You select that. And then the third thing down is the uh, bus pre or post selector. And if you click that, it will give you the option of making it post fader or pre fader. So if you watch the color of the channels, they will change when I select pre fader to yellow. This board is equipped with the ability to connect the bus pages to certain outputs on the back of the board. This is called patching. And a time that we would do this is if we would have, for example, two cameras that we would want to send sound from the board to, and we wanted the same sound sent from the board for both cameras. So for example, I have these certain channels set up on bus five. And I want the, those channels to be sent to both cameras. I would plug in XLRs into output five and six on the back of the board. To do this, you would go to the output button on the touch screen menu. And then under bus five, we have two patches that we are able to perform. As you can see, patch one is currently sent to the output five on the back of the board and patch two, we are going to select and send to output six. Now, the channels that I have selected in bus five are going out of the board in both output six and five to the two cameras. We have four pre-assigned buses on the board. Bus one corresponds with monitor channel one that comes out on the snakes down on the stage. 
Bus 2 corresponds with monitor channel 2 that comes out on the snakes as well. Bus 3 um, comes out in the light booth and bus 4 um, is connected to an XLR that comes out next to the amp rack in the sound booth. Just as we can copy information from each individual channel to a separate channel, um, you can copy information from a bus to another bus. So when I select bus 3 and move channels up, um, I can copy all of this information to any other bus that I choose. So as you can see up here in the touch screen, the whole bus is lit up yellow and I simply paste, hold, and select whichever bus I want to move that information to.